with him. Yeah, we're confident. Um, he came in after a game uh, on the weekend, uh, done his stuff, recovered well, so we're ready to go. It's another game on, on an artificial pitch. Is, is the recovery time longer for you guys? Um, perhaps a little bit, yeah. Um, obviously a bit more stress on all, the, all your joints and your body and stuff, but um, we've got great medical and, and uh, department and, you know, we use the pool, we use, you know, everything that's available, so we'll be fine. So there's no concern for me, it sits three inside eight days? No, it? that's part and parcel of it. I think we're I think more than capable of handling that. Now that sure. you've topped, sorry, you've topped the league, how important is it that you, you finish the job tomorrow night and continue a cup run as well? Yeah, definitely, you know, um, I think it's probably a little bit unfortunate last round to maybe not get that win, but um, we know what we've got to do tomorrow night and, you know, we're just ready to do that. These plastic pitches were banned in place. Mm. Do you find that challenge or a different experience come up here and have to play on them consistently sort of week after week. Yeah, to be honest, uh, I do agree with that. I don't I don't particularly like them. Um but it's part and parcel of it being up here. I knew that when I came here so I can't really make excuses but I would like to see them to be gone. I think um I think, you know, the amount of injuries that's been, you know, recorded on them and, you know, just the general play of it, you know, it's just so different and I think it'd be beneficial to the game up here to be, you know, to have them gone. You can understand why clubs, you know, in terms of weather, finance, mm. go to put them in. Yeah, of course. I, I can see that from the financial point of view, and you know, that's, you know, that's nothing you know, I can really have a view on. You know, so um, I just get on with it, and you know, like the rest of us do, and we just try and do our best. You said you were aware of them when you came up. Mm -hmm. Did it? Did you have to think twice about it? Did anyone really pop you? Um, listen, I don't. I didn't really think too much about it. I, I, it's just part and parcel of it. Do you know what I mean? So, you know. I knew it before I came up here, you know, the lads have dealt with it, you know, seasons before, so and it's something that I can, you know, I can handle, it's not too much of a big issue, but I would like to see them gone personally. Yeah. Given so some of the... Than the other ones, like that was pretty, I think it's about eight years old, I mean, mm. if they're going to be in, should they be fine up to date? I just think they should all be, you know, at the same standard, so there's no, you know, there's no advantage to the home team or, you know, people are training on it every day, you know, it's got to be an advantage to them, so... You know, I'm not really going to get too involved with it. It's not really, in my opinions, you know, it's going to have a great effect. But you know, I would like to see them gone. Yeah. You're doing yourself down there. Um, I, 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 are they better though than some of the grass pitches you've played on up here? Because <laughs> the, the last few months have been terrible. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I get what you're saying. You know, the pitches are, you know, going through, you know, the winter stages and whatever. But personally, I, I think if you ask most of the lads, you know, grass pitch is, is what we, is what we want. You know, that's what we've always trained on and. You know, but we like to play football. Does it give Kilmarnock a big advantage then tomorrow night? I don't think it gives them a big advantage. I say perhaps training on it every day, they're more accustomed to it, and you know, we train on grass pitches and astro pitches, you know, because we we have to be prepared, you know, for these games. So, you know, had a slight advantage maybe, but you know, that's not an excuse. It's not. We're still eleven men playing football against each other. What do you have to do better in this game that you didn't do at Ibrox when it, when it finished 0-0? Take our chances, you know, we created them, and you know, keep the uh, keep the back door shut, and hopefully, you know, get the result. Do you think it might be easier, um, given that they're at home, they've got a new manager in the door today, they've had a good result on Saturday, a bit of a bounce, they might come out a bit more, make it easier for you. I mean, I, I can't really speak on behalf of them, but yeah, you, you could uh, you could agree with that point. Um, I'm sure they're eager to impress the new manager and um, get through to the next round. So. Just like we are, though, do you know what I mean? We we're eager to impress our manager, our fans, our club. You know, we take you know, take a lot of pride in it. So, how much does it matter to you in the dressing room that you're playing a team that's in the division above you, and that if you beat them, that'll be a statement? Yeah, I think I think that gets built up a lot more by you guys and perhaps us. Um, we see it as another game. We treat it exactly the same as every other game we approach, and. Um, you know, we've we've proved that last game we're more than a, with an outfit to match them. We could have potentially won that game, you know, if we just tucked our chances away. And I don't think we get too too focused on it. To be honest, it's just another game for us. It's not it's not seen as a you know check mark of where you're at as a team through the progress that you're making. Yeah, we are making progress, and you know, there's a lot more progress to be made. Um, I can understand what you're coming from. It's you know, it's you know, it's a good test for us, and you know, to get that win tomorrow night would be. You know, I love a little statement for us. Um, but you know, we don't really tend to look at that. We just—it's every game because every game's different. And you know, like I say, an artificial pitch here next week. You know, the week after it'll be on grass at home. So, you know, it's just something that we have to get on with. I suppose the value statement to make is, you know, win a cup or mm -hmm. clutch promotion. That's the statement rather than just going. Yeah, of course. Team. Yeah, I mean that's the the long distance goal. And um, you know, I'm sure that if you ask any of us, you know, we all feel the same.
from a personal perspective, how will it be for yourself come back to Rugby Park? It'd be nice. Um, I had good memories there. Um, I was, you know, like going to see back and see if I could see any faces that were there at the same time that I was there. So it'd be nice. I literally lived in the um, hotel across from the stadium. So I had a nice view every night before I went to bed and uh, nah, it'd be nice to go back, yeah. How have you developed as a player since then? Yeah, obviously I went there as a, as a young boy, really, to be honest. I probably wasn't quite ready. Um, but, you know, I always say this, when I've been, I've been on loan, I've, I've learned a lot more than I would have been at, you know, at my club, my parent club, you know, training with the, the first team, playing in reserve games, you know, it's never the same. So um, I'd like to think I've improved a lot. Was that an important stage in your career? Yeah, definitely, you? yeah. Um, like I said before, I, I don't think I was probably ready, but, um, you know, I remember going and training with you, like, sort of Connor Salmon and um, Kevin Carl at the time, and, you know, I was a skinny 18 year old kid, so I was obviously getting pestered around, you know what I mean? So, but when I look back at it now, I think, yeah, it's, it probably leapfrogged me a little bit because, you know, I had boys at the parent club who were, you know, sort of treading water, if you like, you know, playing in reserve games, but, you know, men's football is a different league, you know that. Come across the club before? No, I've never come across them, no. I think it's a good appointment for Kip tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think he was at Birmingham. I, th I think he was there before I actually joined Birmingham alone, but um, he's obviously got experience at a championship level down in England, so I'm sure it'll be a good appointment. The year that Wigan won the FA Cup, had you returned to the club at that point? Yeah, I was actually involved in a few of the, few of the squads, and um, uh, I was involved in, I think, two games just being on the bench, so it was a, it was a good experience. I can't claim that I was ever involved there. So. What was it like just being around the club at the time? In the yeah, I mean, I went there and there was actually in the Premiership under Martinez and they were, they were a great side. They were playing lovely football. Um, I learnt a lot under him. Um, I went there with a, with a vision to try and develop. Not, I didn't think I was ever going to go there to play. Uh, obviously, I wasn't ready for that Premiership football. Was a, you know, it's the highest, highest you can go. So, um, But I, I look back at it now and I was, I'm really glad that I went there. Um, I think the way that he plays is quite similar to what the McGaffer does here. Um, so I think it's you know, I think it was a really good move for me.